Meantime, we do want you to take a look at these photos out of Davidson windshields shattered and cars sprayed with BBs. Police say that vandals hit several cars last week in an otherwise quiet neighborhood. WBTV's Erica Lundsberg spoke with one woman who says she has no idea why she would be targeted. I didn't think it was going to happen to me. Like, I don't know. You don't think that's going to happen to you. This woman who does not want to be identified says last week she woke up to the news she had never imagined. The police were here and they were bringing us down to the car and like the entire back window was like shattered. According to the Davidson Police Department, several cases of vandalism took place in areas along Pine Road, Avenger Road and the McConnell and St. Albans neighborhoods. Windows along these streets were shattered by an air gun or BB gun between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. on February 16th. Detective Philip Geiger says officers do have a few leads. We're working out a variety of leads right now. Uh, just today we've identified um, through some, another collaborative partner um, two vehicles and as many as three or more subjects that we believe to be involved in this incident in, the, in inside the vehicle, inside the location of where we were looking for suspects. It might sound basic, but there are easy tips to help keep your car safe from someone looking to commit a crime. Still a very, very safe community, but we encourage, we encourage our neighbors to always uh, follow best practices you know leave your lights illuminated make sure that you can see your vehicles if possible lock them up in a garage it's always safest and it always helps prevent additional crime from happening the woman we spoke to says nothing was stolen out of her car making it even more confusing as to why someone would shoot up windows and damage several vehicles for no reason why do you have to break into cars like that's so dumb like especially in a quiet neighborhood like this. Although Davidson police say they have a few leads, they are still asking for help from the community, uh, whether that be people sharing ring camera video or just giving any information that can help out in this investigation. Reporting in Davidson, Erica Lunsford, WBTV on your side.